Now I will tell you about a country whose spiritual patron is a mad monk who impregnated 5,000 women. This is a small kingdom in the Himalayas, Bhutan. You will drop your jaw to the floor after watching this video. The phalluses you painted on the wall of the neighboring house could be a reason for criminal prosecution. If you are one of those who practice such things, you urgently need to fly to Bhutan. This small country honors its heritage by using distinctive customs, such as the veneration of phallic symbols, inspired by a certain divine madman, which symbolize fertility and protection. The name of this madman is Drukpakunle, and in the rich tapestry of Bhutan is a folklore. Few figures are as colorful and controversial as this monk. His life reflects his unconventional paths to enlightenment, which he advocated. Born in the 15th century, Drukpa Kunli was not just a Buddhist monk. He was a spiritual iconoclast who used shock, humor, and sexual innuendos as teaching tools. His methods, although shocking to many, were based on the belief that the path to enlightenment is not just about accepting our human flaws, but overcoming them using unconventional methods, such as using his phallus as a weapon. The cornerstone of the myth about the madman is his encounter with a demon that terrorized people. Instead of resorting to traditional exorcism methods, Kunli used his phallus to subdue and defeat the demon. This act was not only a demonstration of his spiritual power, but also a symbolic gesture emphasizing his message that the sacred can be found in the profane and that liberation is a matter of perception. Since then, the phallus in Bhutan has become a kind of lightsaber for fighting demons. This victory had a profound impact and led to the perception of phallic images as powerful symbols of fertility and protection throughout Bhutan. Phalluses are painted on buildings, carved on wooden decorations, and celebrated at festivals, reminding people of the teachings of the divine madman. They embody the idea that enlightenment and the divine are not inaccessible to ordinary beings, but are woven into the very fabric of our daily lives. Bhutan's history is interwoven with complex contradictions, where at the heart of this juxtaposition is the veneration of Drukpa Kunli's phallus, a symbol embodying the union of spiritual enlightenment and earthly desires. This sacred relic, known for its association with fertility and protection, carries echoes of Kunli's teachings that span the entire spectrum of human experience. The duality of its perception where it is revered as a sacred emblem and simultaneously viewed with humor and earthliness illustrates the Bhutanese ability to maintain reverence and lightheartedness, considering the rituals they encounter. Ritual blessings with a wooden phallus are perhaps the most direct connection to Drukpa Kunli's enduring influence. These ceremonies, which may seem unconventional to the uninitiated, are imbued with the belief that the sacred can manifest through the profane. Families and couples wishing to have children participate in these rituals, during which a monk or lama uses a wooden phallus, often considered blessed by Kunli himself, to bestow fertility blessings. Don't laugh, it's serious. This ancient ritual helps to harmonize with nature, which is especially important considering how unique this country's nature is. Vast virgin forests and fields sown with marijuana. A paradise for you, right? Don't be fooled, because in this country, Marijuana is fed to livestock, highlighting Bhutan's unconventional approach to living in harmony with nature. All this is a bright example of how traditions and progress can be combined, offering a model where the pursuit of happiness is a collective journey, inspired by the past but focused on a sustainable future. This balance makes Bhutan a unique example of purposeful living, where traditions enrich modern life. This duality of the sacred and the profane embodied in the veneration of Drukpa Kunli's teachings and the social role of marijuana, reflects the essence of Bhutanese spirituality. This spirituality does not shy away from the complexities of human existence, but embraces them, finding in them a path to enlightenment. The ritual use of the phallus for blessings is far from just a relic of the past. It still resonates with Bhutanese, connecting all generations of Bhutanese, both children and adults. By the way, how many children do you have? Most likely, you're not even married, and hearing the next thing will make your heart stop. In the annals of Bhutanese folklore, the story of Drukpa Kunli, who impregnated 5,000 women, is one of the boldest. This tale, blurring the lines between myth and history, encapsulates the essence of Kunli's legacy, a legacy that challenges conventional morality and religious orthodoxy. For Kunli's followers, his actions were not just acts of carnal desire, but symbolic gestures of fertility 
creation, and the cyclicality of life. Some view this story skeptically, doubting its historical authenticity, while others see it as a profound expression of the divine fool's spiritual mission. This legend has had a significant impact on Bhutanese views on sexuality and fertility, incorporating a unique openness and reverence for these aspects of human life into the country's cultural and religious fabric. Rather than being considered a matter of private discretion or moral taboo, sexuality is integrated into the spiritual landscape and celebrated as a natural and vital force of existence. Fertility, in particular, is revered, and divine blessings for childbearing are sought in rituals and practices, reflecting Drukpa Kunli's indelible imprint on Bhutanese spirituality, which extends to Bhutan's religious practices, where the sacred and sexual are not dichotomous but intertwined. This integration underscores a broader thematic current in Bhutanese culture, cycles of life, death, and rebirth. In this context, Kunli's creative acts are not merely literal. They symbolize the eternal cycle of existence, embodying Buddhist concepts of impermanence and the endless wheel of samsara. All narratives and practices inspired by the life of Drukpa Kunli reflect a profound approach to the existential realities of life. They serve as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all beings and the natural world, as well as the acceptance of life in all its manifestations. Birth, death, renewal, within the spiritual and cultural ethics of Bhutan. The legacy of the divine madman, thus, goes beyond sensational stories of his sexual conquests and touches upon deeper, more universal themes of human existence and spirituality. Through the lens of Kunli's extraordinary stories, Bhutanese culture navigates the complexities of being, adopting a holistic view of life that honors the sanctity of creation, the inevitability of death, and the hope for rebirth. This perspective, woven into the fabric of Bhutanese society, underscores the enduring influence of the divine madman's teachings, ensuring that his spirit of irreverence, humor, and profound wisdom continues to inspire and provoke, making us see the divine in both the mundane and the extraordinary. Entering the modern era, Bhutan carries with it the wealth of its cultural heritage, encapsulated in traditions that have stood the test of time. The kingdom's path from isolation to cautious engagement with globalization testifies to its resilience and purposeful efforts to preserve its unique identity amid the waves of change. This delicate balance between tradition and modernity, bliss and history, is what defines modern Bhutan. As we have mentioned before, the vivid paintings of phalluses adorning the walls of many Bhutanese homes and the unconventional use of marijuana in traditional medicine are just two examples of customs that continue to thrive, organically integrating into the fabric of everyday life. These customs, rooted in centuries-old beliefs and teachings, coexist with modern laws and social norms, illustrating the country's unique approach to embracing the new without abandoning the old. Bhutan's progressive stance on environmental preservation and its pursuit of gross national happiness are modern manifestations of this deeply ingrained respect for traditions and the natural world. The balance Bhutan maintains between its rich traditions and the realities of the modern world is not just a matter of policy, but a reflection of collective consciousness. It is an acknowledgement that the wisdom of the past, with its legends and rituals, plays a vital role in shaping the present and guiding the future. As Bhutan navigates the complexities of the 21st century, its endeavor to preserve its cultural heritage while embracing modernity serves as a unique model for the world demonstrating the possibility of harmonious coexistence of the ancient and the modern, happiness and progress. In conclusion, Bhutan's path is a story of harmony and balance, a lesson in the art of combining the old and the new to create a society as rooted in its history as it is forward-looking. The legends of the past, especially those of the divine madman, serve as a reminder of the enduring power of traditions in a rapidly changing world, shaping a present that is simultaneously aware of its heritage and optimistic about the future. Unusual, isn't it? Do you know the country of happiness? Tell us what you think. If you found this material full of curiosities interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for new content. Thank you for joining us. Until our next adventure.